Are Dallas County Republicans suppressing minority voters, or are Dallas County Democrats flouting election law? Tonight, a lawsuit that could force nearly 130 Dallas County Democratic candidates off the March 6th primary. Political reporter Jack Fink explains. In fact, we were shocked when we saw it. Dallas County Republican Party Chair Missy Shorey says she filed suit to remove 128 Dallas County Democratic candidates off the ballot after discovering their applications didn't have the required signatures from that party's chair. Instead, Republicans say it looks like someone else's signature. And the Democrats need to recognize you cannot forge your way into elections. It's horrible. Shorey points out that the Democratic Party Chair Carol Donovan did sign about two dozen candidate applications. Donovan declined an interview but says the Republicans' lawsuit isn't supported by Texas law. Among the candidates the GOP says should not appear on the ballot include State Senator Royce West and State Representatives Victoria Neave and Eric Johnson, all of Dallas. We shouldn't be having elections take place in courtrooms. Johnson isn't happy and says he worries minority candidates and voters will be hurt politically. They've resorted now to basically, honestly, the most underhanded tactic I've ever seen a political party pull. He says Republicans don't care about the law, only about winning. This is more of the same of the type of voter suppression activity we've seen in Austin. It's now just being transferred to the local level. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Again, if those laws weren't on the books, that would be one thing. These laws are clear as day. Now, an election law for an attorney from outside of Dallas County described this as one big political mess, but one, he says, that could end up at the Texas Supreme Court. No word how quickly this case will move through the courts, but one thing is for sure, the March 6th Texas primary is six weeks from tomorrow. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.